for listening. For more great content, subscribe to Battle Chats on YouTube. Oh, he was <laughs> Dan, go ahead. Hey, how you doing? Hey now, how are you? Hey now. I just called to say Bonaducci killed yesterday. He was good. Oh, I know good. he probably doesn't believe it. Even before you came in, I mean the the king of all media goes in and, and it goes up a notch. And I but dragged him off the store. I, uh, yeah, I was on Danny's show. the two of you, yeah, but even before that, Bonaducci was good. And I think just before you walked in, there was a call that called him Danny, Danny Bonnet douchebag or something, and, and he was really down. You could hear it. Oh, he he's really got to get over that, man. He's going to get crap all the uh, time. Uh, man. Uh, but you that. know how yeah. sensitive he is. I know. He he's can go off. He could kill his co host. Thank you for listening. For more great content, Subscribe to Battle Chats on YouTube. Somebody the radio said, show. Somebody tell him he killed before he bolts on you. When you said Danny killed, you don't mean he killed someone. You mean he was you good. You know what? I no, thought no, this no, was no, a no. news report. Yeah, Danny right. was out last night. Danny was out last night and killed <laughs> someone. I even said to him, you're not going to kill someone tonight. You're not going to go out and have sex, are you, and screw up your marriage. But, you know, that goes on and on. Um, what do I got to do? Take a quick break? Yeah. God, I hate breaking because I got so much good stuff today. show that I thought I could do um, doesn't exist. <laughs> oh, he was putting down your, uh... Yes. Impression? Your impression. That oh. motherfucker. <laughs> that impression. Do your, do your uh, best line. Uh, what, the long one? <laughs> yeah. Uh, if there are men in my wife's room wearing less than a fucking turtleneck, I will come there. I will shake your foundations. No one will ever be the same. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, if you do Artie on Broadway, I would watch him do this. Yeah, like what, what, one man Artie show. Lang is Danny <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Uh, Lang really, is Bonaduce. I'm two drinks away from Danny Bonaduce. <laughs> yeah. I'm just watching you do it is amazing. <laughs> but Danny was like, eh, it wasn't that great. Anybody could do that. No, he says that Artie's voice trails off at the end, and it sounds like Danny if Danny were deaf. Right. Well, his voice trails off too. This is very precise shit I'm doing here. Yeah, I, mean, this, I love it. I love it. He, this guy, he doesn't appreciate this it. guy's not kidding around, Artie Lang. He knows <laughs> what he's doing. Eric the Midget, go ahead real quick, and I got to get to tons of stuff. Go ahead, Eric. Good morning. I was just calling to see if there were was any. Uh, Hi, Baba Booey. Getting my show done. Well, what? wait a second. You got interrupted by something. What happened over there, Freddie? Hit a button by accident. Yeah, you got to you got to stop those accidents, man. I don't see you crap in your pants. You don't have an accident there. Don't have accidents there. You know, when he had all those cars, he used to every once in a while knock them over. Yeah. Now he has to hit a button. Down. Every once in a while, remind people he's here. <laughs> Eric, what is the question you want to know about your show? Yeah, I was supposed to do it on the 7th. I, I, can, I, just, yeah, I, I, told, the update. I told Eric the Midget that I believe. Eric the actor, please. Eric the acting midget. I thought that he would be excellent to host his post-American Idol show because I believe it will go down as the worst radio show in the history of the broadcast medium. Right. Uh, I believe Eric will get on there and make absolutely zero sense and be so boring that no one will be able to listen all the way through. I am willing to give him a show so that we can now say we've heard the worst radio show in history. <laughs> it'll no. make Double A look like what? Phil Hendry? Yeah. It'll make, it'll make the high-pitched Eric Crapafon look like the Super Bowl. <laughs> well, let me ask you something. Will he know it sucked? That no. Is, no. Will it be bad enough for him to hear it sucked? He has no ability to hear himself, <laughs> which is the sign of a good broadcaster. <laughs> and uh, the good broadcaster can hear himself and be self-aware yeah. during the broadcast. He can put himself in the place of the listener. Eric the Midget has none of those skills. <laughs> uh, okay, where's my show? Having said that... Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, because what's he droning about now? I can tell you. Go ahead. All right, here's the update. Eric wants to come in on a specific date because he doesn't live very close to an airport, and he's going to be near an airport. <laughs> You're going to be in San Francisco, Eric? Why is that? Um, going down to the Bay Area because my parents want to go down to Monterey for the weekend. So we're going to go down there, and I'm going to be staying. In oh, he's so boring. Boring. He's already. Right. Can you imagine a half hour of right. this? I mean, I'm thinking of making the show ten minutes. So, so the point is that since he's going to be in the Bay Area, he's not that close to the airport. <laughs> Uh, 
So it's hard to get Eric in. It's hard to get him near an airport. So right. since he's going to be near one, we were going to do it next week. And one of the issues was we also wanted Eric to be part of the Whack Pack Revelations. Right. I was trying to make that all happen at once. Okay. But his revelation so awful, we're not including him. Right. It's just lame. Yeah. So we're just yeah. going to try to bring him in on the seventh for I'm the. I'm in love with Kelly Clark. <laughs> So we're gonna we're, we think we're close to getting him in for the seven. What's the revelation? Wait, why do we have to fly him in by plane? Can't we attach him to a kite and just let the wind take him here? So Eric, we're looking good. How much you weigh, Eric? About seventy-five to eighty pounds. Yeah. Why not check him? Why not put him FedEx? <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you just put holes in the box and send him here. Would you mind traveling in a box? Yes, I would. All right, a crate. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we doing this with yeah, Eric? I'm I, willing I to so. give him a show. But I gotta, Eric, you better think uh, it through. Hold on, I got to tell you that he's uh, he's funny. I mean, he is well produced, but he's he already gave us a list of who needs to be there for the first show. Who needs to be there? Yeah, uh, Simon Cowell, Kelly Clarkson, <laughs> oh, uh, okay, oh. Carrie Underwood. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus! I want Jesus on there. I want the Christ Himself to this I'll, cross. I'd like to do ten minutes with President Bush. <laughs> and Eric, right, here's who's going to be Jamie. in the studio with you. You and no one else. Well, well, let me. We'll try and get those people. They're not going to show up, right? You may well, want. You may have an idea for some guests that you might want to have on. They will be doing the show in Hollywood. How are you going to have them as guests? And Eric, why don't you produce the show? Why don't you make some calls and get people to come to your show? Why do I have to do? Hello, it? Oprah. Can I speak? Oh, the only person that I know of for a fact that would probably be in New York is Diana DeGarmo. The others, I was. Thinking of having on by phone. Right, Eric, have you gotten them yet? Eric, pick up the phone, call these people, say you're now with Howard 100, you have an American Idol show where you do a post game wrap up. On Sirius? On Sirius Satellite Radio. Big audience. Big audience, lots of influence. And uh, get whoever you want. I don't care if you have your friends, I don't care. Do whatever you have to do. I could try a. I'm not going to sit there and, and, and bust my balls producing your show. It's your show. You know show. what? i got to tell you, if, if it's him and Diana DeGarmo, I might have to tune in. <laughs> Hello, Fantasia. <laughs> oh, no. I would... Hello, Miss Marino. She hung up. Just a whole show of people hanging up on Eric the Midget. <laughs> What's that? You just had another baby. Have... Bring the baby. Can't you read? I would not have that illiterate woman as ah. my guest. All right, look. What? You'll be lucky to get her. Wait a second. What's, why don't you like Fantasia? Because she sounds like Macy Gray, and I can't stand Macy Gray either. Oh, well, finally, a legitimate ad thing. I have a color line. <laughs> I don't like the blacks. I was doing the whole season for Diana, not her. It wasn't mm. Diana DeGarmo. The White Hope. Fantasia <laughs> <laughs> is too effing dark. She's black as night. We're looking forward to so it, Gary. Go give him a show. Your show. Right. We'll call you today, Eric. Yeah, we'll listen for that show. Okay, thank you. You got a show. And don't thank expect you. me to produce it. Thank you. Um, bye for thank now. You. <laughs> bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs> White man. Hold on. Well, I don't need to hold on, right? I could drop him. I'm going to drop him like Thank you for listening. For more great content, subscribe to Battle Chats on YouTube. You're on the air. <laughs> Good morning. Eric the Midget has an American Idol recap, but I'm going to tell you, my friend, I offered you a show. Why you... is he recapping it here? He could yeah. have had his own show. Yeah, no recap for you. Okay. I mean, you know, really. I mean, you don't do things on your time. You do it on ours. Ooh. <laughs> I'm tough. sick of these people. <laughs> You're getting tough with that midget. I'm sick of midgets. Robin's taking what? a stand against the what little What is it? Richard Johnson ready to go? Yeah, you know what? He's got to be somewhere else oh. in 15 minutes. Oh, fuck oh. him. You don't want to piss Richard Johnson off. <laughs> oh, yeah. What were we going gonna to put on them? Gay and page six? Fuck him. <laughs> fuck you. All right. You know what? Uh, Let's I, go to Richard Johnson. <laughs> no. Thank you for listening. For more great content, subscribe to Battle Chats on YouTube.
For more great content, subscribe to Battle Chats on YouTube. No. Begin here. Thank you for listening. For more great content, subscribe to Battle Chats on YouTube. Pick the major one. Thank you for listening. For more great content, subscribe to Battle Chats on YouTube. And not even fantasy. For more great content, subscribe to Battle Chats on YouTube. Or should we just... Sure. Let's hear... This is a preview of the show he's going to do, I guess. Yeah. Eric. Good morning. Uh, tell me something in a quick, sort of concise a way. A synopsis. A short thing. Yeah. Uh, your most important point. Well, I think that all the girls left... Well, okay, with the exception of two. All except two did fairly well to good. You don't care two, about music, do you? The two that I think did the worst was Brenna and uh, Connect Sky. Right. Those two did the worst. The black chick with the giant lips? Yes. Yeah. And, and Brenna, the one with the major attitude. Both yeah, 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 she yeah. She was horrible. All She's horrible. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. Those two will be out. So are they still throwing out another two this week? Is that the deal? I don't know. I wish they'd throw them all out. <laughs> I really do. I, I just, I, I just like, you know, like, you know, this lawsuit proves that I was CBS Radio. If you took Simon off that show for one week, there'd be no show. Oh, why? how could you watch it without Simon? You wait for him. The whole thing's boring until he opens his mouth and gives you what the real opinion is. That's right. It doesn't matter what Randy says. It doesn't Nothing. matter what Paul says. It doesn't even matter what Ryan Seacrest says in between. Right. It should be the Simon Cowell show. Yeah. That's it. It's the singers and Simon. That's you, don't, you, you don't need anything else. The rest I, of the, I, the, the whole thing doesn't work. In fact, they don't even need the singer. They lose him. <laughs> they and play him tape. They lose him and that entire franchise is over. In fact, he should just go somewhere else, unless Moonves can sue him. <laughs> Actually, Robin's right. They don't need the singer. Just let him judge. It. Like if you you got someone in your family who's a painter, let him come over and just berate them. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you, Eric the Midget. That was his synopsis. I, Everybody know, I, was fine. I, I, did you really want to hear more? No, but he uh. really couldn't care about music. <laughs> he just likes looking at those girls. Yeah. Whack Pack Feedback. CBS sues Howard Stern. Whack Pack expresses their opinions. It's fucking bullshit because I was just coming up there and kicking their asses, bitch. I said, that's not right. It's bullshit. He ain't even doing nothing. They need my their own damn business. <laughs> Yo, I'm losing card searcher and he can get fuck himself. What? A fucking prick. Well, we're living in a country now where everybody's a suing everybody, and uh, that's just a thing to do now. If you don't get your way, you sue somebody. But I, I think it's bullshit because uh, they, they, they told him it was okay. I reckon they, they had the button there; they could have mashed to cut him off any time they wanted to. But they suspended him one time for talking about it, and then they let him come back. I think it's just a bullshit lawsuit. But you never know how these lawsuits are gonna go. You know, it's just too. Things that are illegal is blackmail and entrapment. And this, to me, sounds like entrapment. To Lander and uh, Les Moonves sound like two complete idiots. Those are my actual lawyers. Jesus. That's uh, <laughs> the midget for the defense. you got to get Tim in here so, to so talk you... about um, Eric the Midget. Thank you for listening. For more great content, subscribe to Battle Chats on YouTube. He was, I was talking about it in my office. He goes, I'll take that little fucker's uh, wheelchair, wrap it around his neck, and I'm going to fucking kill him. <laughs> he's so mad at him. Oh, is he annoying? Well, he left me a message on Friday saying that he's very upset, that he feels he's being neglected. And Tim goes, we call him every day. He goes, I spent $1,000 on that little shit. Eric. Good morning. Good morning. Let, let, me, let me explain the world to you, okay? Because no one does because of, of your considerable handicaps. But let me tell you how the real world works, okay? Think about it. Nobody cares about you. Nobody ever would give you a show in any way except for my dumb channels. 
Tim calls you enough, there is no end to the amount of attention you need on a daily basis. The more attention we give you, the more you seem to need. You're like an endless vortex of need. Does any of this make sense to you? Well, it's from here to L.A., it's ten hours or more to get down there. I don't... I need to know in enough advance notice all the details. I mean, because I was getting asked by my dad every day, has Jim called? Has Jim called? And I had to keep saying no. I have left him messages. I'm waiting for Eric, him to call Eric, it'll all be worked out. I mean, who else is really offering television and radio uh, shows to you? Uh, I mean, is there really anyone else that's in the bidding? What are you so worried about? Why are you carrying on like that? Tim, are you taking care of this kid or what? I don't even want to talk to the guy anymore. Wow. I've had it up to here with the thinking the guy's nuts. Tell me what's been going on. He's out of his freaking mind. Is this why you got into radio? To <laughs> exactly. get with Eric yeah. So I get a, a, a note from Gary this morning. He says, hey, by the way, who's handling uh, Eric the actor or Eric the astronaut or Eric the, you know, whatever? <laughs> and I say, what? <laughs> and I got an email I just forwarded to you of a note that, or a, a voicemail that he sent me on Saturday stating, I'm going down to L.A. and I just want to let you know I tried to call, blah, 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 whatever. I'm like, whatever, okay. But I'm done with it. I washed my hands with it. It's costing over whatever it is to, to have this guy do a show, which is going to be a train wreck, uh, you know. <laughs> and then I'm going to catch shit for it because it doesn't sound right. right. So uh, it's like, you know what? Forget it. So you're you're out of the whole Eric the. Um, I'm out of the Eric the actor business. <laughs> so Jim's I'm just, I understand on his MySpace account he's Eric the Idol expert. Yeah. Oh, for really? whatever. Yeah. In his own mind. What Eric a... the Idol expert. So what he's done now is uh, Tim has passed it off to Jim. That might be the gayest nickname I've ever heard for MySpace, Eric. Eric the Whoa. Idol expert. Why? Because American Idol. Even though I watch it, I know it's gay. <laughs> you don't want your nickname to be. Eric the Idol expert. Do you understand that on any level? Well, you asked me all those questions a couple of weeks ago, and I raffled off the answers really quick. Yeah, but I'm saying that's that nothing to be proud me... of. That's nothing like 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 I'm an expert on Superman comics, but I don't make that my identity because it's re it's kind of funny at a party if I whip that out. A girl might think that's charming for two seconds. But if you make it your identity, if you become Eric the Idol expert, you don't see that that's not... Ah, eh, forget it. You know what? It's cool. Howard, it's not like he's going to go out and hit 20 home runs. No, but I know he wants to have an image or something. Yeah, I know. I know. Desperately. Desperately. All right, so where does it stand with his show? It'll be on Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Right. I, my money is he doesn't even show up. Well, we'll see. If he doesn't, I'm going to take that $1,000 and fly out to L.A. and strangle the little guy. <laughs> Do you know you're going, what is it, Wednesday night? Do you know your show is Wednesday night? Yeah, the only thing I'm not sure of is the directions of how to get from the hotel to there and also what one of the two Howard channels. I got two words for you. Broadcasting. Map Quest. <laughs> you know, it would be a good show if you strangle Eric on the air. Yeah, how about Eric and Tim? <laughs> I haven't even been given an address to the studio. You need the maybe, hey, maybe the map quest. Maybe, uh, maybe Eric is... <laughs> is Eric telling the truth, though, Tim? Do you sure you, you've given him all these we'll, details? We'll give him the, the, the address of the place today. He'll get it all. He'll get it yeah, all. Yeah. You're going to get it all today, Eric. Okay. Right. Right down, hey, Eric, do me a favor. Write, put down on a list, because I'm sure you got some time today. <laughs> put a list together of all the things that you need so when we contact you today at around noon Eastern time that you'll have it all wrapped up, okay? <laughs> Let's start with that. Be careful. Then begin like mini elliptical machine. <laughs> <laughs> no brown M and M's. A mini steak. I want Jessica Alba nude. A yeah, tiny Eric toilet. The rider. <laughs> We're going to have reaction to Eric the midget, Eric the actor, whatever you want to call him. His American Idol uh, recap show. How'd did, that go? Anyone did fans hear it? Love it, hate it. Did anyone even listen? I know I didn't. Oh, do you want to play a clip from it? I do. Hey, Lynn, did you hear it? Yes, I did. I actually was on my way home from uh, work last night, and I had to tune it off because it was really, really... The only good thing about it was when Brian was talking. 
Yeah, I told you it was going to be horrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, I wanted to tell you, Eric the Midget, he was actually complaining a little bit about it. He was like, the people from the Stern Show weren't calling me back. And Brian Dunkelman goes, those pricks. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, there's an Eric the Midget idol show page, right? And if you go to it, there's like 15 clips on there. The one in orange hey, is the only hey, one where he hey. appeared to talk about American Idol. The rest of it was like... At one point, Richard called up and asked him about the size of his penis, but it was a big call and he got a little pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> was it the worst show ever heard, Gary? Yeah. It was I, bad. I would say so. You know what? It, it's Dunkelman, you know, to his credit, tried really hard to be a host and move it along, but you're like, you, you know, it's moving fast, and then Dunkelman goes, what do you think, Eric? And then there's a long pause, <laughs> and then he goes, well, I think. Like, go to the orange one. That's where he talks about uh, what he thought, how Ida went that night. Welcome back to the wrap-up show. It's Brian Dunkelman sitting here with Eric, the actor, American Idol expert. Eric, let's talk a little bit about the performances this week. Everybody okay. wants to hear your critique. All right. Um, <laughs> last night, the first performer was Paris Bennett. She sang uh, the song by Miami Sound Machine. Didn't exactly sound as good as previous weeks for her. Yeah, it was, a, it was a difficult song choice, I thought. Yeah. And, uh, oh, my God, what a nightmare. I, I, I would be tuned out already. Oh, what a nightmare. I, I felt bad for Dunkelman because he's trying to do a real show. and then. See, I would have uh, liked, I would have liked uh, Eric all by himself. Well, okay. they, they yeah. let him do it. They let him do his own thing most of the time, okay. and it was just long pauses of silence. See, I want to hear that. Yeah. It was funny. Howard, right. go to go to um the third clip down on the left hand side. That's where Richard called in. You could just tell it's so upsetting to to Eric to have to take Richard's call. Hey, we got another call. Thanks for calling, Corey. Uh, Rodney is on the line. Rodney, you're on with Eric, the uh, expert. Uh, everything. Hi, Eric. Hello. Eric, big fan. Hey, I got a question about tonight's American Idol. Okay. Sure, uh, how big is your midget cock? <laughs> oh, Richard, come on. Uh, he knows the question. Dunkelman, play it out and measure it. <laughs> this sounds like Richard Christie to me. It's Rodney, Eric. Okay, uh, whatever. Rodney answer, asked your question, Eric. <laughs> Be honest. I'm not answering that. Please, the world wants to know. It's five feet and two inches. <laughs> he needs All right. measures. Thank you, Rodney. Thank you. <laughs> I love his character work. It's 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 apparent why he's been hired. See, I think Dunkelman ruined that. Like, I think he should just let it, let all that uncomfortable silence throw. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really should be Eric's show. What is uh, Dunkelman doing hosting? Well, Dunkelman's sitting there trying to make it into a show. <laughs> <laughs> He's supposed to be Eric's guest. I had, uh, I called Gary the retard and told him to call and yell in at Eric. Where's that? That's the top, uh, uh, the top of the next column, Howard. <laughs> we got another caller. Oh my God! It's very exciting. Gary the retard is on. Oh. Hey, Eric the bitch, you sick dick, you bitch! <laughs> what do you want? Oh. Hey, Eric, what do you want? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> what do you want? Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm loving the show. <laughs> <laughs> Not much, Gary. What's up? I just they told me uh uh they just called me when to do some shit on the air with you didn't see me. So are you too? Just doing the show, Gary. What do you think? Hey, that's what I need to do. I'm playing organ. The rain's gonna get you, Gary. No, it's not. Yes, it is. She put Dunkelman on there, ruins it. Yeah, because I love the dynamic between Gary the Retard and Eric the Midget. I thought Dunkelman was just going to be a guest. That's what I thought, that he'd be interviewed by Eric. That's what I yeah. want to hear. And then get him the hell out of the studio. Can you imagine that he interview? Ruined it. <clears throat> if you care, Jessica Hahn called in, too. 
What was it like you know, to work with Ryan? Why, do, why can't I ever get these shows the way I want them? Because you you're know, dealing with Tim, who's trying to make them radio. <laughs> oh, the that's right. Tim's get... trying to put. The, put try, Tim wants them moving along. <laughs> the only way we're going to get Dunkelman to leave the show is if it becomes a huge hit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ralph. Hey now. Hey, what is Gary saying to, to Dunkelman's credit? He was moving it along. He was horrible. He first he he comes it. On, first he comes on. He's cursing up a storm. He's insulting Eric. He's got five of his goofy friends on who are, if possible, they were less funny than him. No, it, 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 that's Tim. Tim puts these shows together and gets nervous. It should just be Eric the Midget. He's and rambling on. And, and the clips you're playing are like a half an hour into it when they finally got Dunkelman to shut the fuck up. Yeah, I, I know. Tim, you're blowing it. What are you doing? Now, this I is, told you, you got you to just be the program director. you got to put somebody in charge of this stuff that understands it. Eric this was gold, Eric's man. show. Yeah, but and, you can't and we keep back, Dunkelman And we did there. back uh, Dunkelman off. We told him, it's Eric's show. Yeah, but then the but if it wasn't Tim, for Dunkelman, Tim, Tim, I don't think the guy would have listen, spoken more than around. Tim, listen to me. Here's the problem. You tell, you, you tell Dunkelman to back off, and then Dunkelman doesn't say anything. He's not asking uh, him any questions. It finally got good when Jessica called and said, like, started asking him some questions, and then Dunkelman was goofing on her. But that's what you want to hear. You want to hear Eric just rambling about the guests and stuff like that. Yeah, not we Dunkelman. still haven't heard. When you, when you tell him to back off, then he gets scared, and then he doesn't talk. And, what, like, and what's with all the echoing phone calls? Oh, that was so annoying. Because the ISDN line back and forth. Yeah, but oh. that's the point. 